Welcome to Carrie's Corner. Today I present my unboxing and review of the Sigma 24mm f1.4 DG DN Art Series lens. The Art Series is Sigma's line of professional grade lenses and this one has become one of my favorite lenses. Let's check it out. As we look at the outside of the box we can see where it's a DGDN lens. The DN designation means that it is designed specifically for mirrorless cameras. If we open the box we've got paperwork here. There's a warranty card, a user's manual, and a plastic template that is used to cut filters to be held by the rear filter mount. And there's a warranty sticker. The lens comes shipped in a nice nylon pouch with a belt loop on the back and zipper closure. with a nice plastic lens hood. The interior of the lens hood is ribbed. You'll be able to see there. Build quality on the lens is just excellent. Uh, it is definitely professional grade. Uh, we've got a click on and off switch for the manual aperture ring, a manual focus lock switch which keeps you from accidentally changing the focus point when you're in manual focus mode. It's good for astrophotography. There's a focus hold button and an autofocus manual focus toggle switch. Here we have the manual after ring which has an A setting to let the camera control the aperture and there's also a switch to either lock the after ring in or out of the automatic mode. On the back we have the uh, electrical con contacts and we also have a mount for rear uh, filter. The lens hood bayonets in position and locks with a nice click. There's a push button to release the lens hood when you want to remove it. To give you an idea of the size of the lens, I'm going to show you a picture of it next to my Samyang 24mm f2.8 lens. It's considerably bigger. And here's some nice landscape type shots that I took at Woodward Park. Really nice contrast and sharpness on the lens. Good color. I used an extension ring to get the lens into macro territory. And here are some shots that I took with the lens mounted on an APS-C body to give a 35mm-ish look to the pictures. And here are some video samples I shot with the lens. You can see these individual scales on the lionfish. It's uh, getting good sharpness in that clip. Autofocus doesn't seem to have any trouble tracking the otters as they play around in their pool. If you're enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up 
And if you'd like to be notified about future videos, please hit subscribe and click the notify bell. Thanks. Just look at the teeth on this moray eel. You take your fingers off if you put your hand close to his mouth. Autofocus is doing a fair job with these archer fish handing off between one fish and the next. And it's doing a very good job with this colorful little fellow. Getting nice sharpness and um, good autofocus tracking in this clip that was shot at the Tulsa Zoo's La Fortune Wildlife Track. If you're enjoying the video, please take a moment to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified about future videos, please hit the uh, subscribe button and click the notify bell. Thanks. And to test the eye tracking autofocus, I mounted it on my uh, A6600, and it seems to be tracking my eye reasonably well. And next, I have a series of test images taken from f1.4 through f16. A little bit of vignetting at f1.4, but that pretty much is gone by f2 and up through F, uh, 15, F16. Um, sharpness is good, a little bit softer at 16, but it's quite usable uh, at uh, F8, uh, F11 or fi is fine. In conclusion, I think the Sigma 24mm f1.4 lens is a fantastic value. The image quality is excellent, the autofocus is fast and accurate, it tracks well in video. Uh, the only competition it has is the Sony G Master lens, and that runs $1300 versus $800 for the Sigma. So for $500, that's actually more than I paid for my Sigma 70 millimeter uh, f2.8 macro lens. So I basically, for what the G Master would have cost, I was able to get the Sigma lens and a second Sigma art lens. If you're a highly paid professional photographer and part of your professional image is that you never use third party lenses, yeah, you might want the G Master, but for everybody else, the Sigma is a much better value, a much better buy. Uh, I, it's become my favorite lens. Uh, it it is always in my bag, no matter whether I'm carrying you know my heavy kit or my lightweight kit. Uh, it's always with me. Uh, I can't praise this lens enough. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. If you did like the video, please hit like and hit subscribe if you'd like to be notified about future videos. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.